Uh, concrete uh, is well, very well known for its excellent uh, compressive strength, uh, but um, it's weak uh, with regard to tensile strength and therefore needs uh, reinforcement. And traditionally, steel uh, rebars have been used as a concrete reinforcement. But uh, that comes with its disadvantages because steel, uh, notwithstanding that it's got uh, very good properties in terms of its reaction with concrete, uh, corrodes uh, when water uh, seeps through the concrete and with the corrosion it will expand and that expansion will cause cracking, uh, which is really not really good for marine uh, environments or in any form of environment where there are corrosive agents um, present, such as in mining, water treatment plants. Rogba is, in terms of its comparisons with steel rebar, it's, it's stronger. It's of the order of 600 to 1,200 megapascals, compared to steel of about 450 megapascals. It is lighter. It is about two and a half times lighter than, than steel, uh, meaning uh, there would be significant uh, savings with regard to transportation costs. Secondly, it is non-corrosive because it's made out of rock. Uh, it is uh, non-conductive as well it is as being magnetically transparent. And those are the key and critically important uh, properties of the rock bar compared to steel. This is the traditional steel uh, rebar, heavily corroded and quite heavy. Uh, it's about it's a 10 millimeter um, steel rebar. This is the alternative rock bar and you wouldn't be able to see the difference uh, compared to the steel just in terms of uh, observation but it is significantly lighter, four to five times lighter than the steel and it is very strong. It's very very strong. It's currently extensively used in, in North America. 400 bridges have been built uh, mostly in Canada but also in, in the US and uh, we're hoping that it would be introduced and would be a, a very good alternative for South Africa. Uh, the product is now fully um, SABS uh, certified. It complies to the same standards uh, that the steel rebar uh, have been subjected to, that is a SANS uh, 920. The industry have received the information about the introduction of the rock bar into the uh, industry with excitement, as well as trepidation. I think uh, because of uh, general concerns in terms of its acceptability, uh, the acceptance of new technology, there invariably is a bit of reluctance in this particular regard. And, uh, and it's a matter of, 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 of convincing people, uh, being able to introduce people to um, new um, design specifications, which we are able to do, as well as to, to go in and, and, and to demonstrate to engineers, construction engineers, as well as the design engineers, uh, its application in, in, in real life, to and actually go and see the bridges that's been built uh, and, the, and the infrastructure that's been developed um, internationally to witness firsthand uh, the amazing properties of the uh, Rockpaw product.